hi guys in this lecture you will be learning how to apply the shadows and some extra properties and web fonts so first of all I will show you here I have already created a div and now I am going to apply a shadow on this div so first of all here you can see that there is no shadow on the border and now we have to write box shadow because this is a div it is a box we have to write box shadow we first of all we have to give the position of the shadow at the x-axis so now here I'm going to give 5 pixel on the x-axis and the 10 pixel on the y-axis or it is also 5 pixel and then we have to give the blur radius of the shadow or the intensity of the shadow here I'm gonna write 5 pixel is the intensity of the shadow and then its color is red and now let's render it so here you can see that it is at the x-axis and the y-axis and here is the shadow and now we can also give the two shadows to it write the comma and then you have to write the x-axis distance for the second shadow and the y-axis distance and then the intensity and then the color here is the blue and let's render it and in this way the second shadow is here and now we are also able to give the shadow to the text here I am going to write a heading here is the heading is uh, h1 here write heading here is its closing tag and now here I am going to give it the shadow h1 and here first of all write the shadow when we are giving the shadow to the text so we don't need to write the box shadow we have to just write the shadow and first of all write the distance for the x-axis then the distance for the y-axis and then the intensity of the shadow and then the color of the shadow here let's check it here is the heading and now I am going to change it here we have to write the text shadow the complete syntax is text shadow for the when we are giving the shadow to the text so here the shadow is given to it now I'm going to reduce it to the 5 pixel and make it 5 and it is also 5 and then you will see it clearly here you can see that shadow behind the text and now I'm going to give it the second shadow here is I'm going to give 0 pixel for the x-axis 0 pixel for the y-axis and then the 5 pixel for intensity and here is the black shadow and here is 3 pixel and it also becomes a 3 pixel it is also 0 and 0 and let's check it so here you can see that but here I'm going to give the color to the text is white so now let's check it so here you can see that it is looking awesome so in this way you can give the shadow to the text and the div and now I want to tell you some other properties that is text overflow uh, so now here I'm going to remove this heading and also remove this heading remove this here is the parenthesis and here I'm going to paste a paragraph here copy this paragraph and now paste it here in between these divs so now what we need to do here let's check this div so here is the text but now I'm going to reduce its width and height to the 100 pixel and now let's check it so here you can see that uh, the text is overflow so now to avoid the overflow we have to give an y overflow 
hidden here is the overflow hidden so now let's check it so now overflow is hidden and here I'm gonna give white space wrap no wrap here is the no wrap so now all the text in the single line here all the text is present here and then I'm gonna give it the text overflow property text overflow so now the text overflow have here I'm going to remove this and then show you what is the function of the white space no wrap so here the text is shown in the single line all the uh, new lines are removed so this is the text no wrap and now here we want to hide this text and here I'm gonna apply text overflow and here I'm gonna apply two properties but before this here when we take the mouse over the div here is the hover then it shows the overflow visible so now the text is visible to the screen when we take the mouse over the text but here you can see that we cannot judge this that some kind of text is present here but if we give the text overflow ellipses ellipses I hope it's correct spelling so now here the dots are created so now you can understand there is a text and you can see it and you can also apply another property that is clip so the text is become normal here you can see that it is normal and the next thing is the long words you can also break the long words that is in the text here I'm going to remove the no wrap and all these properties here let's check it and now I'm going to remove all the extra text here is the text and now I'm going to increase its width so here is the text and now here I'm going to uh, make a word long so now let's execute it and here you can see that this word is so long that it overflow the diff and we can also provide a property for these words word wrap here we can give break word then the word is break that is too long here the word is break and now I'm going to teach you how to add a font without installing uh, into your HTML file here the text is already given and now I'm going to remove it and here is the font file uh, this font name is assassins assassins the killers so now I am going to uh, apply this font but I have not installed this form and I'm gonna directly include this form in my HTML file so before this I want to tell you another thing that many years ago when the computers and the internet uh, is not spread everywhere uh, so at that time when we open any website in the browser so the font that is used by the website if uh, does not present in the user computer then uh, the default form that is present in the user computer is execute but now the time is changed uh, the programmers include the font file 
in the website so whenever we load any website and their font is not present in our computer then that font is downloaded in our computer and then that font is execute so now here I'm going to teach you how to include a font here first of all we need to write add font face and after this we have to write font family name we have to give a temporary family name to this font so now here I'm going to give it a family name like first and then uh, we have to include that font here write the source and here is the URL and parentheses and here is a semicolon and in between these words we have to write the file name and its extension so this file name is assassins uh, and its type is true type font let's see it it is dot ttf and now I'm going to copy its name here copy this name and now paste it here and dot ttf and the font and the HTML file is present in the same folder so that's why we have to write only its name and extension and now I am going to apply this font family that is first so first is basically this font assassins and now I'm going to apply this family on this paragraph in the div here write the div and here we have to write the font family so now this font will be apply on this font family first so now this font will be apply on this text here I'm going to remove this height and width and let's execute it so here remove this border all this thing so now first of all I'm going to remove it and then check how it look like so here is the default font here this is a default font and now I am going to apply the first family so now the font is become assassins so it's not change here is a little error that is the equal and now let's check it so here you can see that the font is applicable on it and then you can apply the font size and the font weight and the other attributes so I hope you understand my lecture if you have any problem so kindly add the discussion in the course I will help you as much as I can and now I'm going to teach you the transition in the next lecture what is the trans transition and the transition is an important property so see you in the next lecture